Welcome to another episode of Wine After Wines. This is your girl, Janae. And this is Naja. And guess what? We're in the same building together. I know you're excited because we are. <laughs> I don't care if you are excited. We're excited. Exactly. Yes. Friend. Friend. Hey. Ow. Oh, we so lame. <laughs> <laughs> But yes, welcome to another episode of Wine After Wines. We're excited that you guys are joining us back again for another lit episode. Yes. Um, girl, tell mean? these people what you did over the weekend. Let me tell y'all. <laughs> we didn't caught a lick. Oh, God. <laughs> no, we got a new puppy. Mm -hmm. Got a Doberman picture, and I am so excited um i was a little bit hesitant because i've never had a big dog mm -hmm. i've only had some small dogs i've had a, not teacups but like you know smaller dogs um i had schnauzers my whole entire life and so now i just literally stepped outside the box well they're both german dogs they are they both have those little tails little bit of little tails and we're getting his ears clipped so he will be kind of like a little schnauzers but he is a Big dog. He's going to be a big dog. He's little right now. And so we're going through the whole crate training. But I, got, I do got to let you know. So you checked on us, but you didn't check on us today to see exactly. And today, so he, we, I, got, I went to Ross. Um, no, Ross is not paying me for this. I went to Ross. He got like a big mat to go inside his cage. He's his yes. cage. It's about the size of Bella. Same exact size, I think. And he loves it. He goes right in. And you just left the door open. Yeah, so... On my way, actually on my way over here, um, my husband called me before he left to work and he was like, um, he cried for a few minutes and then he stopped before I walked out the house. So I don't know exactly how everything He's probably just getting used to you because you know that first night is like, who are you? Yeah, and he actually didn't cry the whole night, but I woke up like, he wanted, he woke up wanting to play, so. Mm -hmm. but you yeah. gotta train him. Like having a puppy is just like having a whole baby again. A whole baby. Because you got you got to uh, make sure they're potty trained. You got to make sure that um, they're crate trained. Yes. And they get he got his days and his nights mixed right up. Right now, I think that's what it is. He got mm -hmm. his days and his nights mixed up. Um, but I'm getting a lot of information from you because yeah. you're helping me <laughs> make it through with this. Um, of course, my husband, he's like super excited. And he's like, I can get up. I'm like, well, like last night I, I took on the you know, task of staying up, but he kept calling, he kept, he's like, I'm come down, I can come down, I can do this, I was like, I'm good right now, I'm not super sleepy, I'm not super tired, so they slept downstairs the whole night too with me, the whole mm -hmm. time she woke up at seven, y'all, it's just a whole nother journey, like, oh yeah, it is. I know you went through it, well, how old is Bella, like, Bella's only one, so it's been a change. year, yeah, yeah, so, listen, y'all, we live the same lives, everybody know that, so, <laughs> What better way to get a dog as well? And a big dog at that. Yes, and um, I have a boxer mix. So um, I have a German dog as well. I love dogs. So for both of us to have a German dog, it's crazy. But we're so excited. So now, now we got to have kid play dates and doggy play dates. Yeah. So we're just going to take them to the dog park. Yeah. Piedmont probably is the best Yeah, thing. Piedmont Park. They have the big dog park and the kid park. So. Oh, <laughs> Look, uh, her her dog, her favorite baby's name is Tonka. Tonka, like the Tonka truck. So. Yeah. So that's what we did. So we got Tonka and Bella. <sighs> I'm so excited for them. It's just like she said, it's a whole new journey. Like it's, it's a whole like new journey, having a puppy is a whole thing. So I'm excited. Oh my gosh, y'all. So also this weekend we hosted a vision board party i want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart for everyone that came and uh showed out for our vision board party we laughed literally uh, we drank wine or other things people were drinking <laughs> uh shana um, and we we had a good time uh we set some goals yes. um we were able to learn things from each other, and that's what it's about. And shout out to our special speaker that came, um, my stepmom, April Ross. Amazing story. Like, yeah. she had an amazing story. I, it, like, no joke, it touched me. Not saying it's just because it's your stepmom, but she has, like, we literally got to have her on the show so other people can hear who didn't come to the yeah. board party. Yeah. Because it was so much fun um, listening to her journey 
a three-year journey yeah. in where she is now. And I'm not going to give away where she is now because I want her to come on the show and tell. And tell, yeah. Yeah. But, so look look out for that. Yeah. Oh, and we got new shirts. Look. Oh, yes. Why not the one? The merch, you know. <laughs> Just let us know if you want one. Yeah. Hit us up. Hit us we got up. some for the, for the summertime, for the wintertime. Mm -hmm. Long sleeve, short sleeve. We got y'all. Tank tops. Yep. And All that. that. <laughs> Period. <laughs> I'm not good at that. <laughs> okay, so we're going to move on to the social circle, and we're going to talk about this versus, and I'm done. Go ahead. Listen, I love, y'all know, I remember we talked about on our previous show, I do love Ashanti, and I love Keisha Cole, like, I love, I love the music, and at first, not even at first, I was vibing to the music, but the whole ambiance wasn't there, y'all. I don't know how y'all felt. Even, I don't really know exactly, I mean, I can tell how you felt. But it was like, Keisha was late. Like, she wasn't 15, 20 minutes late. She was a whole hour she was and She was an change late. I was very underwhelmed, yeah. if you will. That made me upset. And then, like, I don't know if anybody else heard the comments. So, of course, you know, her and Ashanti playfully went back and forth about who go, who's going first. And she was like, you better go before I change my mind. I'm like, who said that? Keisha, did you catch? You didn't catch that. I, I didn't think catch you missed it. Oh, yeah. I was half asleep. Yeah, she was like, this better happen before I came. <laughs> you said you was half asleep. <laughs> That's how long it took y'all. <laughs> but yeah, before I changed my mind, I was like, okay, please, let's not let's not start out like this. No, nah, don't do that, Keisha. Keisha. And I think, um, like she was said, drunk. Yeah, she was drunk. She came on there drunk. You think she was drunk when she came? Yes, out? she came on lit. I was like, oh my god, girl. I mean, I don't know. And I just my thing was I mentioned it to you. I didn't like how Ashanti was on her phone. Excuse me, y'all. Some in my eye, but Ashanti was on her phone the entire time, and then how Keisha was doing that. But you did mention he was like. She probably was just annoyed. And yeah. I, now I'm like, yeah, you're right. She probably was annoyed with Keisha and they stepping off camera. I'm like. Doing too much. So, too much. And then the, they had a, the the audacity to take an intermission. That's when I that's when I went to sleep. I was like. I was like, y'all took an intermission yeah. and y'all was already late starting. There shouldn't have been an intermission. Uh, Swiss Beats normally, I don't know if you guys are hip to verses or whatever, but Swiss Beats normally comes on there and does like a, um, after, a, after like review mm -hmm. recap. He did not come online and do a recap. For what? For what? It was just not, I was ready to get my entire life singing those songs at the top of my lungs. Yes. Keisha Cole wasn't even really singing her song. She was singing the Shanti songs. Um, right. but Ashanti wasn't singing nobody's songs. Ashanti was just like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah. So <laughs> it was like a highly anticipated, and then when they canceled it the first two times, it went down, and then they brought it back up, the hype back up, and it didn't match. It didn't match the hype. Mm -mm. Um, to me, it didn't. I just, no, it didn't. Of course, but I like the music. I went back and listened to Keisha's albums afterwards. It did prompt me to do that. Yeah, and she has great music. She mm -hmm. has great music. Whoever's behind her is great. Like, whoever behind her. I'm not yeah. saying that she's not great. Don't get me wrong. But I am saying she needs help and she has great help. Yeah. Um. But, yeah, I mean, I love the music. I mean, I was just like, when the song came on, I got I was just like, hype. But then I'm like, but they didn't make me yeah, hype. It was just their The energy. music yeah. made me hype, if anything, because I love music. So, I'm going to get hype anyway. But yeah, it definitely wasn't their energy. No, their energy sucks. Well, I'm glad to see you feel the same way. Because mm -hmm. we really didn't talk about it, though. Yeah. Okay, so instead of our relationship corner today, we are going to get into a topic that we saw um, online. Mm -hmm. This, I don't, is this a guy from um, Hosea Sanchez? Sanchez. He's the guy from the game, right? That is him, isn't it? I didn't know that was him until you just said something. Yes, yeah, that's, that's yes, um, him. What's his name on the game? Yeah, so... I'm, what's his name on the game? His character's name. Not Derwin. Dirt. No, no Derwin is the not name. Derwin. Ah, uh, the one that the one that spends all the money all yeah, the time. His flashy mom, one. Yeah, yeah, flashy one. Ah, uh, I can't think of his name on the game. We'll figure it out for you. But um, so Jose Sanchez wrote a uh, post, and I'm gonna read it to you, and this is gonna be our topic. 
and he says black celebrities restaurant club restaurant club hookah and strip club owners etc wake the f up stop leading your people to slot to the slaughter at the hands of this virus to gain profit and service um your ego you are facilitating mass extinction in our communities this must stop to the patrons of these places the celebrities quote unquote hosting those events don't give two sh about you or your family they are only there to make money spread the virus feed their egos and go back to their mansions with premium health care this is a trip this is a trap Accountability lies beyond governors and governments when it comes to protecting our people. Mm -hmm. We must be responsible for our health and family's safety. Mass extension from super spreader events is at the hands of our own people. Stop the madness, protect us all, and stay your ass inside. Um, he said a word. I mean, like a whole word. And it's like, first of all, seeing who it was, Cause I mean I read it and I was I was definitely feeling it before mm -hmm. I even knew it was him, but I was like, dang, this person is fed up. And now I really see it. I'm like, he's a celebrity himself, and he's fed the f up. Like he is fed up, yeah. and he should be. And I'm glad to see somebody of you know where he's he stands yeah. to to say something. Who have the guts to say something like this? Because nobody else would. Like he said, it's to feed their ego. Mm -hmm. So. It got some comments on here saying, finally, somebody said it. Um, somebody said, Atlanta. Because we out there. He said, somebody said, um, if you talking about Atlanta, just say that. <laughs> um, and then somebody said, all the blue checks are quiet on this one. Because um, Agreed. just this past, then bow off, um, just get in trouble, like, just get called out. You didn't hear this. Okay, so Houston, um, he hosted a party in Houston, like a concert. And Houston's mayor came after him. No, the mayor? Yeah. Wow. Of Houston came after him. It was like... It must have been like a massive party. It was like a concert, like at a club. And, um, but wasn't nobody wearing their mask and all of that, so... I don't know. I gotta find the story, but it, it it's it's people that was like mad. I mean, like um at at the celebrities for doing that, and I get it. Um, I what I want to say about the whole thing is that I understand that black people want to make their money, but at the end of the day, what he's saying is that you gotta little be a little bit more mindful about our people because at the end of the day we are killing our own people because of this and it's the truth like um even like i said so you know i went to i went to thomasville and i had to quarantine after i came back because they had a big party um we did not know it was gonna be that big of a party we thought it was just welcoming somebody back home who's been away for a while and it turned into something else. And then now a good majority of people had COVID. I mean, like, like I said, we had no clue it was going to be like that. We thought it was a family gathering. It turned out friends from all over, people dancing on other people. It was a total house party. <laughs> I was like, oh gosh. Yeah. Um, so, I think the thing is, people pre, pre, people are thinking that COVID is pretty much over. Yes, no, it's just a new year. That's it. Yeah. They're thinking, oh, year. we love 2020. Oh, I didn't know Dave Chappelle tested positive for COVID. Yeah, he did. T he tested positive for it. Um, um, it's crazy, y'all. Yeah, yeah, but people thinking, oh, it's a new year. So, COVID is dead. No. No, it's, it's just another day. It's crazy that this, this is COVID-19. So you know it happened in nineteen. Mm -hmm. Is that why they named it that? That's what I thought. They then it started. It started in China in nineteen. In twenty nineteen, right? yeah. So you got three. We're three years into this thing. Pretty much. And I'm third year right now. It's still causing havoc. Um, this is this is serious, man. It this is, is serious. serious.
we got to do better. But I agree with every word, every syllable, every period, every yep. punctuation, everything. Everything he said was... Um, all facts. All facts. 100% facts. It should, not, it should resurrect some people. Hopefully it will. Let's just put it that way. It won't because people are, at the end of the day, um, people want to make money. And greed is... I was talking to my mom about this the other day, about greed. Like, Oh, man. Greed yes. and ego and pride, get those you three things... Gonna get you in trouble. Oh, my God. They, ta they take priority in people's lives. Gonna get you like, in you always worried about how you can get this and how you can get that. And, that. and bottom line, that's not... I know people that have the money, but they are miserable. Miserable. Totally miserable. So it's like you gained all of that for what? Nothing. And you know, you know, um, just to show some, they gotta have face. You gotta show face in some people's eyes. You gotta show face. And mm -hmm. that's how they do it. If you have it like that, that's that's one way to do it. And you can be <laughs> you know, you can be totally happy on another end, probably not financially, but you so much happier in where where you stand. But people don't see that. It's this world is so f up. It's so ass backwards. It is. It's so ass backwards. Um, and I want. I wish our people will wake up to see that. I wish they will wake up to see that. Is it's sad. Yeah. It's very sad. And Bow Wow is one of them. I don't know his story, <clears throat> but the fact that he would even go and have a concert. But his whole argument was. I'm not the only celebrity that was out there having a concert. Like, why are y'all all? Why are y'all just getting on me about oh, it? Oh, I mean, I can understand that. He still needs to be held responsible for yeah, what he did. Yeah, but whoever else was out there do too. Yeah. Because at this point, if that's the only reason why they're doing that, they are picking it. I don't know why they just caught him. Who else was there? Uh, did you happen to? Well, I don't know who else was at that particular place, um, but. I know that he wasn't the only uh, the only person talking about um, uh, the only person having a, a gig. So it was, it was people in the comments saying celebrities are in Houston all the time. Probably how they are in um, Atlanta. In Atlanta, like they stay here. Mm -hmm. But you know, it's it's funny because I don't think we've had no big concerts yet. But we have our clubs are open. Yeah, but we got like outside events. I think a lot of outside events. Um, I wish they would just push the parking lot thing but see even at the parking lot thing the way people are they, they'll take it another level yeah they'll take it to a whole nother level it'll be freaking 2021 2021 <laughs> i'm down for it no i'm just playing i'm yeah. just playing guys i'm just my I'm dad had a freak meat shirt it was think it was like freak meat 99 98 or something Ooh, like that yeah, right. and i remember back in the day when um when we were when my mom and dad were together and i found the shirt and i see like Pictures of like women on cars and trucks and they got on like no clothes and I'm like, what is this? Bro. And I remember it saying freak me and I'm like, what is freak me? And I was Bro. just like, I wonder if you still got that shirt. You probably do. <laughs> they not getting rid of it. If you was a part of it, they probably not getting rid of That's it. That's history. In my family from Michigan, this is when I, that was going on when I was living in Michigan. They would come down here for that. My uncle, now, they would come to Atlanta for freak me. Oh my god, Bruh, I mean, I kind of want. I wish I was. If it wasn't it. a pandemic, then I would. I would like to be lit, you know. Just kind oh, of, of course. And I didn't have kids. Yeah, so. definitely no kids. I, I, I don't know be. if I could go home and look them in the face after. After you hit freak me, I'm like, oh, so. <laughs> how are you gonna be a whole mother, mother out here? Tell my whole mother. mother. I mean, it over. It'd be people doing that. I mean, I know personally people do who did it, but you know. I mean, when you be doing that with your husband, you go downstairs and kiss your kids in the mouth after you know. Listen, how about, how about we move on to the, what's the next? How do how do I deal with her? I don't I don't know if y'all know, but I don't. Oh my god! I don't, I don't know. Did we talk about the inauguration? No, we didn't talk about Michelle Obama. <laughs> Girl, did you see her on the set? Oh my god, she looked good. She amazing. Somebody said she came out of uh, the limo. She had her hair wrapped. Bro, when and I then saw she that. came out. You saw it. She, she came out of the limo, cold that thing out, and came through that. 
That thing was. I text Nadia. I said, "Have you seen Barack behind?" Behind girl, he was sitting there like, "What's up?" Uh, <laughs> he was sitting there like, "What's?" Bill that took a nap. Bill was like, "Shoot!" If y'all have not been on social media, it's a meme going around of Bernie saying, <laughs> "Bro, <"Bruh>, Bernie <laughs> with the <laughs> somebody they got Bernie sitting with them hands like this on his chest, girl. They got Bernie." Sitting that first one that I sent was so funny. They oh said, Bernie, um, looking out here looking like, I can't stay long. I got to get too close <laughs> yeah, up before I close. Yes, they, put that, they had some mail in his hand. Bro, he was oh, my gosh. That was such... You can't give black people nothing. That was the highlight of the whole inauguration. Oh, and the, um, the black girl that did the poetry? Yes. Um, to be 100% honest, I haven't heard it. It's okay. because I missed it. Not like I missed it on purpose. I was working too, so I was like, in my office, TV don't have cable, so I missed the whole thing. Oh, I, was, I had my phone propped up. Yeah, I, I'm like, the, so I'm like running back and forth between my office and my room, which is right there. So I, I missed that whole part, trying to do stupid stuff for work. Yeah, but just so go upset. ahead and go back on there and, oh, and yeah. check it out. I've um, been meaning to this whole week, but we were so busy. For it. Yeah, she was dope. Her name is Amanda Gorman, and she's the youngest poet Ooh, to yeah. ever um, be at an inaugural, inaugural uh, stage to mm -hmm. do it. She's so that dope. was really dope. Um, also, uh, there's this Sarge, uh, I think she was a sergeant. I don't want to just make stuff up. Yes. But she did the Pledge of Allegiance with the sign language. Mm -hmm. um, so and you know I'm so in tune with the uh, deaf community right now. Like, so I went to ask, I, not ask, but I'm like the deaf community on social media. Mm -hmm. It's crazy because you can't please nobody. A lot of them were like really excited and happy. But she's what you call CODA, which is a child of a deaf, deaf adult. So she's not deaf, um, but she's a, her father is deaf. So a lot of the white people were saying that she was signing the wrong um, signs for the Pledge of Allegiance, and they didn't like that. And the black community is like, when she was doing black ASL, which is a thing. He was telling me yeah. about that. And so um, she was also, they were also saying that they didn't like that she was all, uh, speaking and doing the sign at the same time. I'm like, well, how are we supposed to hear her? Like, I mean, it was for both of us. You can say please everybody. But I thought it was dope that they at least incorporated that aspect in there because a lot of times we forget about the deaf community when it comes to things. Like, we don't put closed captions on things or we yeah. don't, like, do a lot of um, things to them for them. So I thought it was dope that we even, like, Wow. Included it, but you know how you know how people are. Wow, you can't, you can't please everybody. That's a shame that people have to act like that. That's a like a dirty shame, I yeah. Think. That's a no that's very annoying. <laughs> Is it just me though, or does it feel um a little bit lighter in the world now that uh Trump is in Florida? <laughs> <It's> in Florida. <laughs> different feeling i'm just i just feel like he's um i feel like um joe's out there he's signing a lot of new bills and um i think it may be in our favor i hope that it turns out that way um i've heard that a lot of people's student loans are being wiped away yeah oh. so um i don't know how true it is but i'm mine ain't gone yet but did you see that Trump pardoned like Lil Wayne and Kodak Black yeah, before he, he left? He I was pardoned like, them. I don't understand why. Is <laughs> that what I mean? Was <laughs> Trump? I'm like, yes. I'm like, yeah, that's what that mean was with him with that Kodak Black hair. I just don't understand. Like, he just does some questionable things, but whatever. Um, I'm not saying that uh, no. Joseph Biden is an Uncle Joe or whatever we want to call him, Pop Pop. Is our um, <laughs> is our end all be all the black people savior or something like that? I'm not saying that, but I will say that um, he ain't on Twitter going off on folks. And he can't. No, I'm talking about Biden. Oh, oh, Biden. Well, yeah, he, yeah. I'm. He's not like 
Yeah, that's the one he's, thing. It's, it's like, I'm not even watching CNN. Like, like, when Trump was in the office, I was kind of like, these last couple weeks, I've been glued to CNN because it's always something it's happening. Mm -hmm. I ain't even been on CNN. I don't know what Joe them doing and Kamala. They they signing a bunch of stuff. Kamala's just back there. She, she's standing she right here. He's thing. just signing away. Did you know that um, Trump and his wife had separate bedrooms in the White House? Where did you see that at? It's a thing that, you know, every president has their own way they want the White House set up. And they had two separate bedrooms, but I'm bringing it up because they had to come in to change everything back up right. to make Biden and his wife have the same, the same rooms and all of that. Yeah. Oh, Trump. See that? I don't, I don't think she was ready for it. I don't think she was like, I think she got in it for the money and then he gonna, he just gonna take his behind the run for president. So she like, shit, I got no choice at this point. Right. So she was shocked. I, I think mean, they were all happy that he, that he only did one term. His family, his I family. think. Yeah. Maybe not them, maybe not them oldest kids. No, nah, not them, but yeah. I'm saying like, you know, the one that always be missing, um, and... <laughs> <laughs> she is up on the fact that this dude is always missing. He always missing. Then he came out at the at the goodbye party. And I showed you that thing that he is a time traveler. I mean, <laughs> we got that book at home. Did you know that? The you whole did? book. Did you read it? No, it's still uh, closed. They never even been bent open. Does it say that he... I'm going to read it. Okay. Though. I promise you I'm going to read it. I'll okay. get back to you. Okay, so one last thing before we go ahead and move on for the tip of the week. We want to talk about Plies got some new tea. Oh, heck yeah. Um, I'm so proud of him. Chick is just... You know, I, I just... I went back and listened to all Plies music the other day because of his tea. And... I enjoyed myself. I can't believe she said that. First of all, you should have been listening to Plies with gold tea. No, that, I know. I said I went, my back, I went back to listen to it. I listened to him before, but I but when it started popping up again with these new teeth, I was like, let me go back and listen to some plies. Made you feel good, didn't it? Yeah. I don't care what nobody say. In my college days, plies was riding. Like we jammed to some plies. It could have been that I was in South Georgia. That's know, why. But it but is. no, everybody liked plies back in the day. Him. His little stuff. He's so little. Little. I see him in concert and he's just so tiny. Very tiny. I seen him at the club back in my day before kids, before husband. And he's just tiny. He like my height. He more like my height. He tiny. I don't think I'm taller than him. I mean, I'm tall, but. You're not tall. <laughs> and don't get this confused. Her chair is hiked up higher than mine. This is beside the point. <laughs> Listen, she's still shorter than me, though. By smidge. Okay, so y'all's wine after wine tip of the week is... <laughs> she just switched the subject, y'all saw that. I mean, I'm over her. <laughs> um, it's going to be uh, something, a tip that we learned from our uh, virtual vision board party. Yes. Uh, and it was, um, when you're starting a business, you don't have to wait until you are 100% um, perfect. And... Um, it kind of it stood out to us because we were all we were both like, well we're all we were all on the call kind of like yeah we, we are trying to start things but we want to make sure it's right blah blah blah. Mm -hmm. But I will say even when we started this podcast we didn't and even now look at us yeah we don't have everything right and everything perfect mm -hmm. but we still started and we are still going. Um, I say always just be mindful of what you're doing. But even when it comes to a relationship, I remember. My cousins would be like, um, my guy cousin would be like, oh, I don't want to um, get married yet because I got to have this, 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 this. Mm -hmm. I got to be done with this, this. I'm like, it don't matter how many things you got checked off your list. You are never going to be married, ready for marriage. Or like kids. you think, Or kids. Like you think you're going to be ready for marriage or kids. And it's so funny you say that because I do have a friend like that as well. Um. She's definitely, she's the type of person who, who needs to see what you're doing. Mm. Like, hey, y'all, y'all gonna buy this year? Y'all gonna rent? Y'all gonna this? Because where are y'all living? And she's like, I'm just not ready, you know, to have another kid because I'm not, I'm just not ready. Do you think I was ready for Phoenix just to enter this world? <laughs> I mean, yeah, we knew we wanted a second child, but it came a little sooner than, but. 
Do you think we sat here and just raid our child? Yeah, yeah, no, we really just, we pushed through it and we're good, you know? Nothing's going to be perfect. Nothing's going to be perfect. And when she spoke that word to us um, at the Vision Board Party, I was really feeling it. Like, mm -hmm. I really felt it. I, I'm the type of person, and you as well, like you said, we were, even before the podcast, before, I would say before the podcast, we both felt this way, like, stuff gotta be this, we gotta make sure mm -hmm. this is right, this, mm -hmm. but I felt, I felt that loosen up a little bit, especially when we just literally jumped just in with this, yeah. we was like, let's just do it, yeah, I'm down, I'm down, yeah. I think you just take what you have, and you wait for your God, your higher power, or whatever, mm -hmm. to emulsify that. Mm -hmm. You take what you got, mm -hmm. and you be obedient, and you go. Mm -hmm. And you'll be blessed. Like, you just gotta, you just, it takes you to take the first steps. Because what she was saying is that, um, how do you know how to correct your mistakes? Right, right. Unless you start going. Exactly. Like, exactly. how do you know you're going to ride a bike if you don't take the training yeah. wheels off, right? She, she hit it right on the head. Yeah. Like, I would love to just hear, even though I just heard the story, I would love to hear it again. Yeah. Well, well good thing I recorded it, so. <laughs> Maybe I'll get some snippets. Maybe I'll we'll get some snippets from it. But yes, that is your wine after wine sip of the week. Take it and do what you will with it. Um. Boy. Okay, so this is my honest moment. I'm going to take a sip of water. <clears throat> I'm so long for her. This water. I just want my eyes open. I just had to make sure that, you know. You know, my, uh, I was good and so I can speak properly. Um, I am furloughed again. That's what I wrote. Furloughed again. Um, and I, speaking of back, going back to the tip of the week, mm -hmm. it's just really like the, the, the prayer that I prayed before, because I found out that I found out that, Hey, you could be furloughed again. We'll let you know tomorrow if you are. Right ahead. And I was like, okay, so now the whole day I'm sitting around like, is it going to be me? Is it going to be me? So the next day came and they called me like at 10 a.m. and was like, yep, so you're furloughed again. And, you know, we'll call you back if business, gets, business uh, levels come back up or whatever. We'll let you know. So now I got to like go through that whole furlough process again. I'm not, I, but um, I'm not in a bad place mentally with it. My prayer before that, that day when I woke up that morning, I said, look, God, whatever your perfect plan for my life, whatever that looks like, like let your will be done. Like I want to be able to, to, um, to walk in your perfect plan and to do what I'm supposed to do. And if this, if this is the time that I need to take a step back from my job to pursue something else or do something else, mm -hmm. then I'm going to have to be at peace with that. Right. And that's what I did. And and she called me and I said, and, and I had to like apologize to Jesus because when she called me, I was fine. I was like, okay, girl, lay it on me. I know why you're calling me. Tell me what it is. And she gave me all my information. I was fine. I hung up. That was fine. But then I had my other boss call me and be like, are you okay? Is everything okay? And then I had my coworkers being like, oh my God, are you okay? And, I, and then like immediately I'm like, well, maybe I'm not okay. Like right. maybe I shouldn't be okay. But no, I had to get my spirits back. I'm like, look, this is for a reason. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take this time and figure out what I need to be doing. Right. And so me and Naja got some stuff up our sleeves. Like always, like always. But, <laughs> We do. Yeah, I hated it because no, I did not get furloughed. I do have a meeting this week. I don't know what's about to happen. I don't think it'll be. I don't think I'll be furloughed. It might just be like my hours are cut. Like I said, or they're just changing up. Some my stuff. hours are already cut. <laughs> I'm already working on a reduced work week, so I don't know what else they could tell us. But I hated it for her. But at the same time, like you said, you got stuff up your sleeve. You yeah. got situations going yeah. on. So. Honestly, I, she don't have anything to worry about. This is just actually giving her time to work on her. Yeah, and um, I'm pe I have peace about it. Yeah, but and you're that's, good. That's the most important thing. You're good. That your faith is good. You're you're in a good space to do that anyway. So yeah, Bye. I ain't tripping. All right, that's how I feel. But yeah, so I'm gonna actually jump right in because I'm gonna pick. With my knowledge, because I'm gonna um, pick up 
piggyback off of Janae's being furloughed. So, y'all, we always put all of our eggs in one basket. Is that how they say it? Mm -hmm. um, we got to figure out ways to, <clears throat> excuse me, we have to figure out ways to become okay with, like, have money aside or, or have a plan B, mm -hmm. as you can say, like, when stuff like this happens, because corporate can flip on you at any time because it's corporate. There are always people, CEOs, all of these people that are above you, and they are, they have their money together, their life together. This pandemic isn't hurting any of them. It's hurting us mm -hmm. and us people who work under them. And so when it hurts, it's hurting us, but they are hurting us to make sure they, they're not hurt. You get what I'm saying? So with them now, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, Mr. Whatever, who, who's, <laughs> who's a part of the company, he good. That's why your job is cut and other people, other people's jobs are cut. So he'll be fine. Mm -hmm. It's not so the company will be fine. Nah, because the company is going to be okay. Oh, yeah, that'd be fine. That's why they're doing this, the things that they're doing that's making us lose our jobs or go on layoff or furlough. Just so they'd be all right. So we have to have our backup plan because they they have theirs. Mm -hmm. So we need ours. And we need to stop. And I say us, I'm saying us as black people because we need to make sure our kids are straight. Yeah. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to make sure our kids are straight. You're going to take this time off and um, we need to start planning some things. Yeah. It is, uh, you know. I know. <laughs> So, so yes and um with that being said i'm going to jump back to our vision board party and i once again want to thank everybody who showed up like it was amazing um if you didn't come you really missed out because we got some good prizes yeah. off to people yeah. um we got um we got to know people on a deep on a deeper level like people actually was able to express themselves actually able to tell their goals which will help you with your goals so even if you didn't show i suggest you do a vision board mm -hmm. a vision board or some people who came didn't have the vision board set up but they had pencil and paper and they made a list we gave them categories so let they me made just say i'm just proud of the people that joined that didn't have a vision board but they showed up anyway but they showed up anyway mm -hmm. and i love that because yeah. it's like yeah, you aren't ready for it or you didn't have all your things, but you showed up to hear. Mm -hmm. You showed up to support yes. and to listen. And I just, I love that because mm -hmm. I'm like, hey, if you don't have a vision board, get you a piece of paper and a pen or get your phone, type it out. Like, let's we gonna write this stuff it. down. And um, I love that. So uh, maybe next time I'll give the categories that we have because I don't remember <laughs> what they are now. I think it was personal. Yeah, personal. Um, professional. Family. Financial, um, yeah, health and fitness or health and wellness, health and wellness and family. It was family, but it was one more thing. Uh, spiritual, spiritual. What's your spiritual goals? Yeah. Right. So we just had people like jot down the. Uh, it was amazing. Yeah, it helped me see things the way some other people see it because I was thinking something else and I'm like, oh yeah, that yeah, is that's another good. Way. Yeah. And so and I wrote down on my board like I just jotted on my board like I put it on there as well so i got another little section on my board um for that as well so yeah i'm gonna get that in there i i, I loved it i I'm, i loved it i can't wait to do another one yeah or something like it yeah and i think i want to just you know I, for the people that came i'm gonna remind them like hey remember your goals when we're like six months yeah in. yeah like, remember your goals we need to do that yeah. maybe we should do like, like a, a halfway mm -hmm. yeah like a halfway mark like y'all Let's check off our boards. Mm -hmm. Let's check off our lists. Um, and even for the people who didn't have a, maybe I should take that list and make a board. You yeah. Know. Yeah. But that was fun, guys. Um, I just want to say one more thing before we yeah. close. Before we close, like we in church. Right. Um, that picture on your screen has me giggling the whole time. <laughs> if y'all see me kind of like smiling at like Naja's way, it's not because I'm infatuated oh, with her. She got a picture. I'm of sure Trump I'm on her computer with go on the shade room and just kind of scroll. It's a picture of Trump, tr Trump, <laughs> Trump with Kodak black hair 
and the, it's just up it's on her, it's it's just up on her computer. It's so the whole time I'm looking at her, I'm just like looking at this picture, like I'm trying not to giggle. <laughs> Yo, this is so funny. It caught oh, me off guard when I scroll past it. I just it's so silly. Stuck it up here. Oh god. Anyway, but yes, thank you so much for tuning in to another episode of Wine After Wines. Hopefully, we can come together more often. We can. And um, yeah, tune in to next episode. And we're almost at the end of this uh, month of 2021. So, this is crazy. Yeah, get your stuff together. And we'll see y'all next episode. Bye. Have a great week. Bye. It only takes one. It only takes one. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, y'all.